It's the FIFA 2022 World Cup down in Qatar, and we're at our GMS broadcasting booth. I'm Miles Whitaker, and I'm joined here by Dominic Tamboro. Yeah, today we have a great show planned for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at the top predictions and who GMS thinks is going to win the World Cup. We're also going to be looking at the favorite teams, as well as Qatar's controversies and what it means to be playing in winter. Then we'll be taking an in-depth look at the USA squad and some of our upcoming stars. Quick disclaimer, this video was shot during the World Cup group stage and there are a few later tournament updates. Stay tuned for the final result in recent World Soccer news. We got Portugal, we got Mexico, France, England, Brazil, Belgium, Qatar, Germany, USA, Iran, Canada, Argentina, Australia, Croatia, Switzerland, Ghana, Japan, Uruguay, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Ecuador, Wales, Poland, Sunzia, Cameroon, Serbia, Korea, Netherlands, Senegal, Costa Rica. Let's play football. And I'm here at the Khalifa Stadium in Qatar. There is a lot of talk of who will win the 2022 World Cup, but the FIFA rankings have it as Brazil in first, Belgium in second, and Argentina in third. The Gunston analysts predict that England will fall short to Brazil in the World Cup finals. I'm Nick, and today I'm going to be talking about the U.S. World Cup roster. Greg Berhalter, the head coach of the U.S. soccer team, made some bold choices like not putting Ricardo Pepe on the roster or putting goalkeeper Sean Johnson over the freaking freaky frick putting goalkeeper Sean Johnson over Zach Steffen. This U.S. team is ranked 16th in the group stage, so they have a good chance at making it out. Christian Pulisic is excited to play with his new team and thinks he will lead them to victory. So Qatar's made it so that they host the World Cup in November instead of the normal June and July because in June and July, the average temperature is 105 degrees Fahrenheit, which is unhealthy temperatures to be playing in. So in November, the average temperature is 75 degrees, which is way better off for playing in. Now some of the rules that Qatar has implemented is they made it clear that there's no beer allowed in the stadiums and around the stadiums. So this has some of the fans mad. Even in the opening match, Ecuador fans have been caught saying queremos cerveza, which means we want beer. Now for the stadiums. Qatar has built eight really cool stadiums for all of us to watch the World Cup in. Unfortunately, along with spending $10 billion of all eight stadiums, 6,500 migrant workers died due to exhaustion, dehydration, and extreme work conditions put under the, by the Qatari government. I'm Selim, and we asked our Gunson community, we sent around a poll asking them who they want to win the World Cup. And as you can see on screen right now, the majority voted for USA. It is our home country. But in their game, they did not play that well. So they probably won't win. I don't know. And then the second highest team was Argentina. But unfortunately, they lost. I don't think they're going to go far based on how they were playing. Does well and, and put away by Breaking news USA just beat Iran and advanced to the knockout round. We were just informed that Christian Pulisic scored an absolute banger of a goal in the 38th minute to give them the 1-0 lead against Iran. They will be playing Netherlands in the round of 16. Good luck, USA. Freedom! Messi is officially the goal! He scored two goals also known as a brace in the World Cup Finals to help take the trophy home to Argentina. 
for France, Mbappe scored three goals and won the Golden Boot, carrying his team. Even though they lost, he still played amazing. Another star player we need to take a look at is Ami Martinez. He had a very, very, very clutch save with 30 seconds left to help send them to penalties. I think when I say this, I speak on most of the soccer or football community because that World Cup was an absolute b -b -b banger. This World Cup was amazing. It will definitely be remembered. See you guys in four years.